Alright! We're never going to speak of this place again. And move along to the next one. I... It's been a couple weeks since my last recording session. I'm feeling a lot better now. I just don't want to remember anything about that place. L let's just move on. Introducing level 5, Xanado the Red Canyon. Wait, wrong game. Got some yogurt yard music to help us through the area. Alright, and no offense kind, but I want nothing to do with you for quite a while. Got five stages this time, as well as the boss level. All right. Oh, you know what? I forgot to introduce myself. Who the frig am I? Hey, you guys! It's Chaos Maelstrom time. Welcome back to more Kirby's Dream Land 2. In the last episode, things happened. And in this episode, we're going to do things hopefully a lot better. Alright. Now, I don't remember which stage it is in, but I will be sure to point out because there is a big old Easter egg that is definitely worth sharing. Oh, nice try, buddy. <laughs> Think you're gonna sneak up behind me and grab me, huh? Too bad. I am on edge because I have put up with enough garbage for quite a while. What's in here? Oh, hello. Oh god, this is gonna take for- Excuse me? Alright, apparently I can't stay in rock form forever. Alright, well now we just gotta wait for him to- Okay, shoot your star. Thank you. Oh boy, this is going to take a while, isn't it? I'm getting my ass handed to me! Uh, oh, oh, good lord, I think I'm gonna die. Great start for an episode. Okay. Would you? Okay, now I'm upset. Apparently I haven't gotten all of the kinks from... freaking the iceberg out of my system yet. Ugh. That, this is just a really awkward place for this mid-boss. And in case you're hearing any noises in the background, um, I'm pet sitting today, so all the the dog and all the cats are like, Oh, hey, let's go hang out in Uncle Sean's room. Yeah, so I've got to deal with that. Rick! I said Rick, not Bill. Well, there's Bill, the, uh cutest tuxedo cat in the world, uh, making himself known. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh! Rick basically gives you, um, not beam ability. I will gladly take my not beam ability and roll with it. Because a uh, not beam ability is better than literally anything else that I have to do. Okay, if I fall down the... I didn't take any damage during this run. It's good. God. They are really trying to tap me with all this shit. Ugh. But yeah, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because I'm on Rick and Rick has his own separate health bar. Okay. This Gordo is in a bad place and I do not like it. Speaking of bad plays... OH GOD! I didn't think that would happen, but okay. Alright, gotta get rid of some more of them stupid blocks there. I feel like I 
should be able to do something about those uh, single blocks there. They look like the kind of block I could destroy if I had the right ability. But, really, do I even want to destroy them? Because I don't think uh, the uh, secret is going to be hidden in this level. I'm pretty sure I'll uh, stumble across it. As long as I... Okay, this is mean. Okay, that is very mean. This is super mean. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, you tried, Rick, and that's the important thing. Okay. I'm gonna wait for these, uh, Bronto Burks to fly past before I try any precarious jumping here. God, Rick, why can you not wall climb in this game? Why do you have to be essentially the worst of the three characters that are given to me to control? Of course, I mean, I still got Kirby, but... Yeah, who just... I'll be... I'll go ahead and say it right now. Who is the best hands down? Kai is only useful in certain situations, and Rick is hardly useful at all, because we're already done with the ice world, where uh, he doesn't have to deal with traction. But even there, you're, like, utilizing the other uh, animal buddies so much. Yeah, Rick really got screwed over. However, in the next game, Dreamland 3, Rick is so much better. Because he can actually climb walls then. He can be super, super useful. And he also has the uh, ability to nullify traction like before. Uh, no, he, he gets traction on ice, is what I meant to say. Okay, would you... Oh, I should not have done that. I, oh my god! Can I get it? Is this it? Please. No, I'm pretty sure that guy would have given me Cutter anyway. You know what? Rick, go away. I need to know. I need to know. Well, guess I'll never know! Unless I really want to replay that stage, which, let's be honest here, why would you do that? Alright, on to Red Canyon Stage 2. I want to say this is the stage. But I will... Wow! Game really does not want me to have any fun today. M maybe it's just that the game's getting progressively more difficult. And... Yeah, we'll chalk it up to that. And the developers are finding more ways to just... be mean. Because I know from experience that Kirby developers can be pretty mean. All the freaking Great Cave Offensive treasures. Alright. Well, at least I've got Needle ability to um, help protect me from other things. What the frig are you? I do not remember this enemy ever existing. Yeah, you're... I'm definitely surprised at your existence, if nothing else. How did I... Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, sure, that's fair! Bounce off the wall and hit me again! What? What happened there? What garbage was that? Okay, first of all, I need to get some more space. Okay, that did a number on- Why can I not inhale that one? Can I only inhale them after the- I got my ass handed to me super quickly there. Can I only inhale them after they uh, bounce off the wall? Okay. You fuck <laughs> off. Okay, now I'm finally getting a hold of his patterns. There we go. You're dead. 
Give me cutter. And... Okay! This makes things a lot easier. This makes things a lot harder. Oh, I hate auto-scrolling! Why did I go for that? That was such a terrible idea. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh. Can we all just agree that auto-scrolling stages are the worst thing? I could have just gone this way. Okay. You, you know what? Now I'm actually dead. How the heck did I survive that? I don't know. I can conclude the one thing, though. I freaking... This game is pulling no more punches. Alright. What's down here? Freaking... You assume the attack button would actually let you inhale, but no, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's just my controller, I don't know. Yeah, screw that. If I ever want just one-ups, I can go back and play one of those stupid bonus mini-games. That and death really has no consequence because there's no such thing as, uh, brain. Well, I mean, there's no such thing as my brain normally, but, uh... There's no such thing as, uh, what is it? Credits and, uh, quarters that you lose to play the game again. There we go. Oh, good. I love the looks of this. Alright, let's, uh, start with the most simple looking door. <gasps> oh! This was a bad place to come first. I can't do anything now, can I? Oh, or that could happen. Alright. Okay, so that was just a, essentially a pick which partner you want room. And now I know that you can't inhale those guys for sword because... A, sword ability isn't in this game, and B... Well... You saw what happened when I tried to inhale them. They're like, lol, nope. Alright. One downside about parasol ability is that you're never safe from below. Which in a platforming game, you really need to be safe from all directions. But hey, at least I can stop in midair and get my ass handed to me by everything. Okay. Alright, and here's where it's like, you should have picked kind. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I didn't realize that off the top of my head that I was just supposed to... Okay, well, at least I can walk along the floor. Eels, I'm, I'm not in the mood to spare you today. I've had enough. After the iceberg stage, I'm like finally at the point where I'm like, okay, the game's decided to be mean, so it's my turn to be mean as well. Also, Rick's about to die, oh no! Alright, uh, go ahead and grab needle. Oh, good lord, this is not going to help me at all. Ugh. Needle ability is so awkward with Rick because it only protects you from behind! Honestly, it wouldn't be such a bad thing for me to lose Rick here because I already gave my opinion on why Rick is the worst dream buddy in this game. Dream buddy, animal friend, whatever. Alright. God, I, I should have picked the owl. Of course, I didn't know I would be picking a dream... An animal friend, based on which of the doors I go through, I just thought... Maybe I need to have that animal friend ready. But now I know the gimmick for that stage. Alright. Uh, go ahead and run one more. Alright. Okay. What the frick are these? Giant mushrooms? Whatever, I... I won't complain. 
they're acting as platforms, making it so I can actually maneuver the stage. Oh, and great, they don't even stay... The needles don't even stay, uh, stay out. They just get retracted automatically after a set amount of time. Great, wonderful, outstanding, amazing. Alright. You, would you move please? Would you move please? Thank you. Now please go away. I know you can't stay on screen forever. That is the one upside from me having to deal with all your uh, partner warpy shenanigans. I don't uh, honestly don't care for Needle anymore. Oh! You! You are not a Gordo, you are Captain Stitch! I know this because I see... Because I know from previous installments. Oh. Okay, well... Right, so I'm gonna get my ass handed to me a few times, and then we can finally move on ahead. That's that's how th these things work around here. I have to get my ass handed to me by the mid boss before I can actually fight it properly. Because then I learn its patterns. Okay, well Rick's gone, so now hopefully I I can fly now. Oh yeah! Thanks whoever is up there! God. Okay, that is one mechanic that I absolutely hate. How you can get hit by the dream- by the stupid bu animal buddy trapped in the bag, and that basically ruins your plans. Okay, maybe I just need to start jumping more at this guy. Gimme Needle, and... Just wanted to keep coming back for more, I guess. Whatever. I will gladly take my hamster, because I was sitting at two health, and literally anything would have been better than what I had. <laughs> okay. Whatever, I don't really care for needle ability anyway. Oh, hello. Oh, I had to go through you anyway. Oh, good! Rick underwater! Th this is good! Look at my attack! I'm so powerful! I blow bubbles at people! I'm like Sailor Mercury! really is the Sailor Mercury of this game. He's only, like, useful in very certain situations, and when you see his power used in the TV show, it's like, how is that even helpful? Okay. I don't care. I want eel tonight. I don't even know if these things are... deal, deal damage to me, do they? Oh, no, they're air currents! Okay, that was kind of silly. <laughs> Alright. Get rid of the Scarfies. And okay. I feel like we should be... Oh god. Oh, no! Okay. I happen to be... Really, game? There's no way for me to get through there without taking a hit. Unless I'm patient. Wow. I showed patience. Wow! Perfect job! Okay, and that's enough for this episode. So, next one definitely has to have that thing I'm expecting. So, uh, next time on Kirby's Dream Land 2, we're gonna... What the heck? Why am I only learning about this now? By pressing the X button, I can turn this into Brown Canyon. 
Is that just me, like, turning off the color, like, the, the color effect that you get from playing on the, uh, Super Game Boy? I don't know what it is, but I don't like Brown Canyon. Because brown is often a color that's associated with gross stuff. Anyway, that's enough for this episode. We're gonna go ahead and uh, hang up now. Bill, you want to say anything? Bill? Nah, he just wants to purr. All right. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, end off today's episode here. So I'll see you guys next time for when hopefully uh, Rick is actually useful for something. I'm sorry, Rick. It's not my fault they didn't give you the ability to be a vertically oriented character. Like, whatever. I need to shut up and just leave. See you guys next time. Laters! Laters!